Instead of being asked to find the total surface area, sometimes we're asked to only find the lateral surface area of a figure. That means we need to find the area of just the lateral faces, excluding the bases. Well, for a prism, we can start with our surface area formula. 2 times the area of the base, plus the perimeter of the base times the height. Well, since we don't want the area of the bases, we can simply take that part out of our equation and use the perimeter times the height part. To start with, we need to find the perimeter of our base. Well, on our triangular prism, that's going to be the 3, 4, and 5. So we would need to add the 3 plus the 4 plus the 5. Then we need to multiply that by the height of the prism. Height of the prism is the distance between the bases, so that's our 8 feet. Now we can use order of operations. Inside the parentheses, 3 plus 4 plus 5 gives me a total of 12. Multiply that times 8. 12 times 8 is 96. So that means the lateral surface area for this triangular prism comes out to be 96 square feet. The process would look similar on a pyramid that has a regular polygon for its base. To find its total surface area, that would be area of the base plus one half times the perimeter of the base times the slant height. Well again, we don't need area of the base, so we can simply use the second half. Area is one half times the perimeter times the slant height. Well in order to solve that, we need to start by finding the perimeter of the base. Well since our base is a regular polygon, that means all of our edges are going to be the same length. So perimeter can be thought of in this case as being 6 times 4. Then we need to multiply that by the slant height. The slant height being the height of one of the lateral faces, not the height of the prism. So we can multiply that by 10. Now we can go through and solve. 6 times 4 is 24, so we have 1 half times 24 times 10. Working through there, 1 half times 24 gives me 12, so then we have 12 times 10. 12 times 10 comes out to be 120, so the lateral surface area for our regular pyramid comes out to be 120 square feet. If the base of our pyramid is an irregular polygon, then we have to find the area of each lateral face individually and add them together. Here we have a rectangular pyramid. That means for our rectangular base, we're going to have two different lateral faces. The triangles that are along both lengths are going to be congruent to each other, and the triangles that are along both widths are going to be congruent to each other. Well, let's start by finding the area of the triangles along the length. Area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. Well, in this case, our length is 3 feet, so we're going to put that into our equation, multiplied by our slant height of 4.1 feet, so we'll put that into our equation. 3 times 4.1 gives me 12.3, and then we need to divide that value by 2. 12.3 divided by 2 gives me an area of 6 and 15 hundredths square feet for both lateral faces that are along the 3 foot edge. So when we're going to look for our total surface area, we can put 6 and 15 hundredths square feet in there twice. One for the front face, one for the back face. Then we can do the same thing for the lateral faces that are along the width. Area of a triangle is still base times height divided by 2. This time our base is 2 feet and our slant height is 4.3 feet. So we have 2 times 4.3 divided by 2. 2 times 4.3 comes out to be 8.6, and we divide that by 2. That takes us back around to 4.3 square feet. That means the area of the right face and the left face are both 4.3 feet. So we can add those into our total lateral surface area. So now, to find out what all four faces are worth, we simply need to add all these values together. And when we do, that gives us a total lateral surface area of 20, and 9 tenths square feet.